So Mom Port always ships her stuff DHL. Um, and shipping's usually really quick. It's always packaged fairly well. And this is no exception. We've got our bag of hardware and rotary axis here. Ah, comes with a nice little level here. That's nice. Side of the way. All right, so we've got a little level, a T handle, the rotary axes, uh, extra jaws for inside outside, uh, some mounting bolts. Looks like an Allen wrench. This particular rotary axis has this nice little uh, angle finder here, or degrees, I guess. So that's nice. Um, let's get it unplugged here. Uh, so the first thing we do is we just need to plug this in right in the back. In the back, back here, you'll see this aviation plug with four ports. So we're just going to plug that right in. It's keyed, so it lines up easy. All right, we're all set. We're just going to loosen up these two set screws here. Maybe. Should be able to just rotate this. There we go. And we'll stick our level on here. See where our machine is. Okay, it's fairly level this way. Nice and level, that's good. Now the holes in the GP30, the threaded holes in here are M5. However, the rotary axis comes with M6, which is the same size as the split unit. So you'll have to pick up some M5 if you want to mount it in here. But I think for what we're doing today, we'll just uh, It'll be okay, and we'll uh, we're just going to set it up and get it actually just get it moving around. I'm gonna get a paper towel and wipe that off because it's greasy. So let's uh, power it up and see what we've got. I'm going to raise the head up out of the way here. So when you turn this on, it locks this up, so I'm going to just Put that with the vice uh, jaw up. There we go. So let's go into light burn. Okay, so here we are in light burn. And if you recall in the last video, we set up our 
GP35 laser. So here it is selected here. Now, before we do that, let's look at the 20 watt split unit and see how the rotary axis is set up. If you recall when we did that video series about a year ago, uh, the rotary says settings for the steps per revolution were 1280 or uh, 12,800 and our minimum speed 500, max 3, acceleration 100 and return speed 3000. So let's look and see what the default was for uh, the GP30. Remember we um, put the correction file in there so maybe that also changed this. So we have our steps per revolution at 5000. Um, our object diameter at should be, uh, I think this is an 80 millimeter chuck. Yeah, 80 millimeter. So let's, uh, we'll put that in the object diameter here. We'll change this to 80. Whoops. Go back in there. Okay, yeah, 80. I apologize, it's kind of loud with the machine running, but as you can see here, they've got it set up default for 5,000 steps per rotation. So when we press the test button, the rotor reaction should rotate one revolution and then rotate back. Now once you enter the object diameter in here, the circumference is already figured out for you in light burn. So we don't have to do that. It's just 80 multiplied by pi, which comes up with 251.32. So let's press our test button here. So you can see we didn't get a full revolution. I suspect the units for this particular uh, model is going to be the same as it was for the split unit. So we're going to change our rotary settings here to 12800. And then we're going to test it, so watch the rotation. That gives us one full revolution, so now we know we're set up. And that's all there is to it. We can start marking. We're going to enable our rotary. Press OK. And then we'll just, uh, let's get set up here to do some marking. So I don't have any rotary objects here to test with. I usually use some tin cans or something. Uh, let me see if I have anything. All right, I found something here. Let's see. Let's see if there's a clamp in here. All right. All right, this is 35 millimeters. So let's set that up. So we're going to go up here to our rotary axis. We're going to set our object diameter here to 35. Okay. Make sure our axis is enabled here. Now we're going to all this stuff out of the way. You want to make sure that your part here is level. That looks pretty good. I'm going to slide this back. Now if you want to come in from the side, you can come in from the side and mark. You can turn it this way and mark. See if you can see that. Uh, let me move you over here to the side. Uh, there we go. Alright, so I'm going to just, I've got my light up top, my aiming light. And I'm just going to make sure all three dots are touching. And that should be set up right there. So we're just going to do some simple text here.
rotary chest. Oh, sorry. 35 millimeter. Let's uh, make that a little bit smaller. Press P to get it in the center. Okay, let me get my goggles. Alright, we're going to do fill. Rotaries enabled. And press start. Our object diameter is good. Our split size, that's okay. Let's hit start. See what we have. I didn't even check to see what the settings were. We're at 100 speed, 100 power, so probably could have went a little faster and a little uh, less uh, heat, but that'll be okay for this. Turn that off. We can see what's going on here. Turned out really good. <laughs> it's kind of deep. Uh, 
definitely a deep heavy mark because we uh, we're at 100% power and a slow speed of 100 but uh, yeah you can see it uh, works really well um, the spacing looks good everything looks uh, yeah looks normal guys I can't tell you uh, it doesn't get much easier than this setting up a rotary axis with light burn it's really simple and it's kind of plug and play so the main thing to remember is the steps per unit is 12,800 once you set that put your object diameter in there um, you're ready to go guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner also click on that notification bell that way when I post new videos like this one if it's something you're interested in, you'll get a link and you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.